Hello and welcome to the Pastor's Corner. Today we'll read 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 8 to 9 from the Christian Standard Bible. Be sober-minded, be alert. Your adversary the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for anyone he can devour. Resist him, firm in the faith, knowing the same kinds of sufferings are being experienced by your fellow believers throughout the world. In these verses, Peter is calling his readers to be sober-minded or clear-headed and alert. Peter told his readers to be sober-minded and alert earlier in chapter 4, verse 7. The focus in that verse was that we should be focused and persistent in our prayer life because Jesus is coming again very soon. However, the focus in chapter 5, verse 8 is that we should be focused and alert about the devil's schemes. You know, Lions sometimes paralyze their victims with fear by roaring very loud, as we're all aware. But sometimes, some lions stalk their prey silently and suddenly attack them by jumping on them and killing them when they are least aware of the lion's presence. And the devil's schemes are often like the lion that stalks silently and then attacks when the victim is not aware of the lion's presence. And that's the way that the devil often is. He stalks us silently and often attacks us when we're unaware, which is why Peter says that we need to be sober-minded, completely clear-headed, and aware, awake, and ready for the attacks of Satan. We're to resist the devil. But how do we do that? We can't attack him because he's too strong for us if we fight him on our own. But if we are firm in our faith in God, focus completely on him and his kingdom, and we are walking by his spirit, God will fight our battles for us and help us to overcome the temptations that we face. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 states, No temptation has come upon you except what is common to humanity. But God is faithful, and he will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. But with a temptation, he will provide the way out so that you may be able to bear it. In addition to walking by the Spirit, we need to also read, study, and memorize the Word of God. God's Word gives us the ability to resist the devil and his attacks. God's word gives us truth, which we can use to counteract the lies that the devil throws our way. And we also need to spend extended times of prayer with God each day. Prayer gives us the ability to refocus our attention on God, and through it, we can ask him for help as we encounter the, this world and its challenges. In Psalm 91, verses 14 to 16, God is speaking to his followers who have set their hearts on him. It states, because he has his heart set on me, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and give him honor. I will satisfy him with a long life and show him my salvation. God will be with us in the troubles that we face. God will answer our prayers when we call to him for help, and he will deliver us from the devil's snares. Peter also reminds us that other believers throughout the world are experiencing the same kind of troubles, difficulties, and sufferings that we are experiencing. In fact, many believers in the world are experiencing worse suffering than we are experiencing. Many have been kicked out of their families, thrown in jail, and even tortured and killed for their faith in Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are not experiencing anything different than other believers are experiencing now and have experienced since Jesus first came to this earth. God wants us to be faithful to him, sober-minded and alert as to Satan's silent attacks, and persevere in our faith in Jesus until the end. God is faithful, and he promises to be with us and never leave us as we remain faithful to him. Let us pray. Lord God, I pray that you might help us to persevere until the end, that you might help us to be sober-minded, clear-headed, and aware 
completely aware and focused on the schemes that Satan, the devil, sometimes throws our way. I pray, Lord God, that we might be completely each day filled with your spirit, walking in your spirit, Lord God, and that we might be in your word, studying your word, immersed in your word, and eating, eating that word that will give us the, the food that we need to be able to live with you and to be able to resist Satan's attacks. Lord God, I also pray you might, we might spend time with you each day in prayer, Lord God, asking for your help in the temptations that we face each day and in the encounters that we come across with other people who don't know you. And I pray we might remember that there are other people throughout this world who, Christians throughout this world, who are experiencing much worse suffering than we are going through. And I pray we might pray for them, pray for the, I pray we might just pray for the Christians throughout the world that are going through intense suffering for their faith, Lord God. Strengthen them, Lord God, and help them to know you and to know that you're with them and that you will help them through the sufferings, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.